Here's a story from the South that's pretty hard to comprehend. Alabama sheriff kept $750,000 in funds meant to feed inmates, bought $740,000 house. So they explain here, uh, Etowah County Sheriff Todd Entrican has received $750,000 over the past three years, which he reported on ethics disclosure forms as being from food provisions. The sheriff did not deny to AL.com that he had received the funds and told the publication last month that he has a personal account that he calls his food provisions fund. AL.com also reported that it had re reviewed photos of checks printed with Sheriff Todd Entrican food provision account in the upper left corner. Sheriff, sheriffs have stated that Alabama state law allows them to keep excess funds allocated for feeding inmates. However, many Alabama counties give the excess funds to the county government, not the sheriff. AL.com reported that Entrican and his wife had also purchased a $740,000 home with an in-ground pool in an upscale neighborhood in the county and that he had gotten a $592,000 mortgage to finance the purchase. So his salary is $93,178. And um, it looks like he's going to get away with this. And in fact, it looks like it's not even illegal what he did. So this story, when I saw the headline, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to read about this. And they're going to say, oh, he was caught and his trial is, you know, X amount of days in the future, or X amount of months in the future. And justice is being brought as a result of this. No, you read the article and they're just like, he did this uh, and it looks like uh, everything's fine here. He is within the current structure of the law. So everybody look away uh, and don't question shit. What? No, of course we're going to question it. That's... What a ridiculous scenario. He's keeping money that's meant for food to feed the inmates, but oh, it was left over, so it's okay. Yeah, but we didn't... Our taxpayer's really cool with just giving this guy that much money. He's already making $93,178 as a sheriff in Alabama, which probably puts him in the top 1% in Alabama, and he's going to be able to just take that much money? That should be redirected and reallocated in a different way to the taxpayers. So I don't... Like, this is wild, but this is a reminder that in America, police actually steal more from people than burglars do. Now, I know you're thinking, come on, Kyle, that's ridiculous. No, it's true. Uh, there, were, there was a study done, I think it was in 2014, that got us the numbers here. And in 2014, it was about, what, $5 billion or so taking, taken through what's called civil asset forfeiture. And that's more than burglars have taken, took from people in that year. So civil asset forfeiture is basically legalized robbery by cop. And that means like it, they could take your shit and say, oh, well, I, th I thought you were on your way to do a drug deal. So therefore, since you were on your way to do a drug deal, I'm going to seize your car. I'm going to seize the money that you have in your car. And it, now there's really no process in place for you to get it back. So they just take your shit and then flip the burden of proof. And over $5 billion or about $5 billion a year, they do that. So again, legalized robbery by cop. That's what that is. But you never, ever, ever hear these issues talked about in that manner. Nobody talks about these issues like that, where they're like, oh, the system and the police... The people who are supposed to be the authorities, the law and order folks, they're stealing from you. They're stealing from you. They're the problem here. They're a bigger problem than actual burglars are. They're a bigger criminal than the criminals are. So what a realization that is. Another wild fact, by the way, which is similar to this fact, is that wage theft outpaces theft theft. So in other words, employers steal more from their workers... Uh, than pe people who steal, steal. Isn't that wild? So in other words, the system is screwing you more than you think and more than the aberrations where somebody's an outright criminal. So that's just a lot to digest. I understand that. 
but we need to change these laws and we need to change these rules to make it so that this shit stops happening. Because this is how people lose faith and trust in a system. This is how, you know, this is how you sow the seeds of revolution. 